Hello everybody again, this is Goddess Designs. Today I am going to show you how to make an opacity map from a texture. Um, it's actually really simple. Other people have harder ways of doing it, but this is the way I like to do it. Okay, as you can see, I have my, all my layers up and it basically consists of about um, probably 10, 15 layers here. And as you can see, I do not have the opacity map check marked but we can check mark it and so we're going to click on that layer we're going to click create a new layer and now we're on that new layer make sure you're on that new layer and hit edit fill click color and I want it to be black so click OK OK so our next thing we're going to do is unclick these two the map and the black and we're going to hit lay layer after we click on one of these layer merge visible we're going to then the next step we want to do is hit control and U and you see where it says lightness you want to pull that all the way over and click OK and it's all white and then I'm going to click on that black and as you can see we have our opacity map it's done you want to save it as a JPEG image because JPEG is a lot better to save for a product um, when you're making an opacity map because then it takes up less space and the KBs on the product are not as high so just save it file save as and whatever you want to name it and then you can put it into the previewer and uh, if you have any questions about how to use the previewer I do have another tutorial on my YouTube about it okay that's it for this one uh, thank you guys if you have any questions you guys can leave me a message up on um, my IMVU page or uh, my YouTube page thanks and have a nice day Hello everybody again, this is Goddess Designs. Today I'm going to show you how to make a basic catalog icon. Um, so what we want to do first off is hit File, New, and you want to make sure the width is 100 pixels and the height is 80. Um, make sure it's selected as pixels and not something else. So we're going to click OK. And as you can see, oh, we got to move this. I like it so it's in the middle of my screen. Okay, and so our next step is to go under image, size, 400. Well, I like to work with 400. You can do it smaller if you want to, but um, at 400, you can have, you can see the details a little bit better. So what you want to do is you got one layer right here so we're going to edit fill with some color let's use pink I like pink so we are going to use pink click OK OK and as you can see it is pink OK so my next step I'm going to put another layer and edit fill we're going to do a different color. Let's go with black. Okay. Okay. And what I want to do, I want to put like a border around here. So what I'm going to do is just do it like that. And then click your delete button. And so that this poops out a little bit more, what I'm going to do is go to my blending options, which is a little button over here so we're going to give it a drop shadow and we're going to emboss this a little bit you can always change your style of the emboss click OK and as you can see you have a basic square here um, I can show you um, what I'm going to do is open I view a under every pixel. This is just 
basic, so you guys get the gist of what I'm trying to do. And what we're going to do is click on our move tool, and I'm going to drag that over here. You can always, well, like, say this is right here or something. So what we want to do is close those layers down, and I'm going to pull that between there. And as you can see, we have a basic icon, and we can put some font here. And I'm just going to type, um, let's go to black, G-O-D, what's this? I'm going to highlight this and make it a little bit bigger. Let's say about 16. And you can always play around with your text layers. Um, you can give it a drop shadow and emboss it. Add a little bit of satin, change the color, click OK, and then OK. And as you can see, we have a basic icon. You can always put that like anywhere you want. You can always change the color. So we'll, what we want to do next is file and save as. And make sure you save it as something you can remember or something like that. Um, and save it as a PSD format. So click save so you can use it next time you want to make your icon so they're all the same. So we're going to close that right for the moment. Okay, so this is the hair I'm trying to work on. Um, go to image, size, and where it says width. We're going to take that back down to 100. And you have your 100 by 80 icon and save that. Best way to do it if you want some transparency, save it as a picnic image. Or you can always save it as a JPEG, which always takes up less space on your external hard drive or um, your basic hard drive. Okay, that concludes this tutorial this time. Um, if you have any other questions, um, feel free to leave me a message on my IMVU, or you can always um, leave me a message on my YouTube also. Um, thanks, and everybody have a good day now.